and girls, welcome to North Kitsap Baptist Church. Today we're going to have a story about a donkey. Could you tell that it was me talking or did you think it was my puppet? Is my puppet cute? I think he's cute. Well, today we are going to have a story about a donkey and not just a donkey, but a donkey that talks. Can you believe that? So let's see what is happening with these Israelites. Remember, they are traveling through the desert. They are on their way to the promised land. And now they are right across the river. They are right getting ready to go into the promised land. And they have a lot of people with them. Remember, they brought all the people and all the animals that they had with them out of Egypt. And they have crossed through the desert. They've been going through the desert for 40 years, and actually a lot more babies have probably been born in that 40 years, so they have a lot of people with them. And they get to the land of Moab, which is on one side of the river, and then the promised land is on the other side of the river. All they have to do is cross the river, but the people of Moab are not very happy, and they are worried about this large crowd of people and how it's going to affect them. And so the king in that area named Balak, King Balak came up with a great idea. And so let's read in Numbers, the book of Numbers. You can get your Bible, chapter 22, verses 5 and 6, and see what Balak, the king, is going to do. So Balak was the king of Moab at that time. He sent his messengers to get Balaam. There's a lot of B names in this story. Balaam, and Balaam was the son of Beor. And he was in the city of Pethor near the Euphrates River. Pethor was the land where Balaam had been born. And Balak told the messengers what to say to Balaam. A nation has come out of Egypt. They are cower covering the face of the land. And they've set up camp next to me. So come and put a curse on these people. They are too powerful for me. Maybe I'll be able to win the battle over them. Maybe I'll be able to drive them out of the land. I know that whoever you bless is blessed and whoever you curse is cursed. So King Balak sends for this man named Balaam and he's kind of like a fortune teller. He is a person who sells and he charges money to give blessings or give curses and to kind of tell fortunes and things like that. He doesn't really believe in God. He's not really a prophet. He's not telling the true things of God. But King Balak wants to send to him to use him to curse, hopefully curse the Israelites and get them out of his land uh, because he doesn't want to have to fight them. So King ba or Balaam, gets, he hears from the messengers and God comes to Balaam in a dream and tells him, not to go with the messengers, not to go curse the Israelites because God has chosen the Israelites and God is going to bless them no matter what Balaam says. And so even though Balaam didn't really believe in God, God was still able to talk to him and to convince him not to go. But the messengers from King Balak were persistent and they came again and they said, you have to come with us. You have to come curse these people. And so that time God came to Balaam in a dream again and told him, all right, go with them, but only, t only say what I tell you to say. So he's, God is telling Balaam, you have to listen to me. You have to do what I say to do. And Balaam is not used to that. He's used to doing what he wants to do. So Balaam gets on his donkey, and he's riding his donkey down to where the Israelites are. He's going with the messengers. And all of a sudden, the donkey stops in the road. And Balaam is confused. He's like, why are you stopped? Balaam can't see anything that would stop the donkey. And so he gets out his whip and he's whipping the donkey and telling the donkey to get on, get, get moving again. And so the donkey finally gets up and starts moving again. But then again, the donkey stops. And actually this time the donkey just lays down in the middle of the road because the donkey could see something that Balaam couldn't see. And it was actually an angel. And let's look at... The verses that we have here in Numbers, again, chapter 22, verse 26. The angel of the Lord moved on ahead and stood in a narrow place. There was no room to turn, either right or left. The donkey saw the angel of the Lord. And so it laid down under Balaam. 
That made him angry, and he hit the donkey again with his stick. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you that you hit me these three times? I have to turn the page. Balaam answered the donkey. He said, You have made me look foolish. I wish I had a sword in my hand. If I did, I'd kill you right now. He would kill his donkey. And the donkey said to Balaam, I am your own donkey. I'm the one you have always ridden. Haven't you always been riding me to this very day? Have I ever made you look foolish before? No, he said. And then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel standing in the road, and he saw that the angel was holding a sword, and the angel was ready for battle. So Balaam bowed down, and he fell with his face to the ground. And the angel of the Lord then spoke to Balaam and told Balaam to stop beating his donkey and also reminded Balaam what God had said, that he could only speak what God would tell him to say. And he couldn't just do whatever he wanted to do. So God knew that although Balaam was going with the people like God had told him to do, in in the back of Balaam's mind, he's still thinking, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not really going to do what God wants me to do. So God's reminding him, you have to do what I say. Because God wanted to bless the Israelites. And finally, when Balaam got to the place where the Israelites were, he opened his mouth and he gave his, uh, his blessing on the Israelites. And he said, God brought them out of De- Egypt. They are as strong as a wild ox. They destroy nations at war with them. They break their bones in pieces. They wound them with their arrows. Like a male lion, they lie down and sleep. They are like a female lion who dares to wake them up. May those who bless you be blessed and those who curse you be cursed. And so Balaam did what God said this time. He spoke the blessing to Israel rather than speaking the curse that the king Balak wanted him to do. So even though Balaam didn't really, he wasn't really a believer in God, but God still used him for his purposes in blessing the Israelites. And God used the donkey to remind Balaam who was the true God. And we've probably all been like Balaam at some times in our lives. We've all been stubborn and we have wanted to do what we want to do rather than what God wants us to do. But God wants to remind us too that we should do the right things and we should do them for the right reasons because God is telling us to do that and because he is good. And so hopefully, I hope that you are listening to God today and you are going to go out and try to do what God wants you to do and trust in him. And I hope you have a good day and we'll see you back next week.